Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 27th of February 1933, the Reichstag building in Berlin was set on fire in an arson attack. Generally accepted to have been conducted by Dutch communist Marinus van der Lubbe, the fire provided the new German Chancellor, Adolf Hitler, with an opportunity to consolidate Nazi control of the government. Hitler had been appointed Chancellor on the 30th of January, but had demanded new elections for the Reichstag's representatives. These were scheduled to take place on the 5th of March, and Hitler hoped to increase the Nazis' share of the seats in order to pass the Enabling Act and take control of political decisions for himself. Shortly after 9pm on the evening of the 27th of February, Goebbels was informed that the Reichstag was on fire. Although the blaze was extinguished before midnight, the inside of the building was destroyed. Communists were blamed and van der Lubbe was arrested. The day after the fire, Hitler succeeded in persuading President Hindenburg to pass the emergency Decree of the Reich President for the Protection of People and State, which suspended many civil liberties and gave the Nazis freedom to arrest their opponents. Thousands of communists were rounded up by the SA, along with social democrats and liberals, and together were placed in so-called protective custody. Van der Lubbe was tried, convicted and executed for the attack. Although there is debate over the exact circumstances of the fire, Sir Ian Kershaw, a leading historian of Germany, says there is consensus among the vast majority of historians that van der Lubbe did set the fire. Whatever the circumstances, however, the situation was certainly exploited by the Nazis and was the first step in the creation of a single-party state. Thank you.